Athletic club, also known more commonly as Athletic Bilbao outside of Spain, are no doubt one of the biggest clubs in Spanish football. They have won La Liga eight times, winning it a good few times throughout the 20s and the early 30s. Um, they've also won the Copa del Rey 23 times as well throughout their history, and they're actually the second most successful club in the Copa del Rey, and they're the fourth most successful club in La Liga. And Bilbao Bilbao were obviously really well known out so well everywhere for their Basque only policy. Basically, their transfer restrictions. They can only sign players from within the Basque region, whether they're you know born there, have grown up there, that type of thing. And in today's video, we are going to be explaining the Basque only policy at Bilbao and how it's still working for them really well. Um, in these years, you know, um, there was kind of talk of them getting rid of it a few years back but it has actually you know kept them doing really well they did have um they haven't qualified for europe now in a good few seasons not since the 15 16 season actually believe it or not was the last time they've qualified for europe which is a bit of a disappointment but they've always kind of been up in and around the you know what i mean the kind of top nine of the table kind of ninth eighth place finishes that kind of part of the table just always that little bit off and um, you know what I mean maybe in that final stretch of the season for kind of maintaining consistency uh, but they did have a relatively good season last year with an eighth place finish getting 51 points only finishing behind Osasuna in seventh uh, but only two points which was really unlucky they ended up losing to Elche on the second last game of the season who were already relegated which was a real blow you know kind of a bad way I suppose to lose a game to a you know a team that had already been relegated while you're right in the race for Europe but they did go to the Bernabeu and managed to get a draw but unfortunately Osasuna did get a win um against Girona which was enough to see Osasuna go through but despite missing out Osasuna as things stand have been suspended from playing in Europe um, next season due to a match fixing scandal all the way back in 2014 which I think is a bit ridiculous to be honest in my opinion to suspend a team you know that something happened that long ago if you get what I mean like that's nine years ago I don't really see how it has an impact on this season if you get what I mean seems if it is so long now Osasuna are trying to appeal that at the moment at the time of recording this video but as things stand if they were to lose that appeal Bilbao will be taking their place in the conference league next season so they'll certainly be interesting to see how they do in the conference league now explaining Bilbao's Basque only policies as you can see here is a map right now on screen of of the Basque region. The Basque region is obviously kind of in the north, um, the kind of northeast of Spain, as you'd say, um, near enough to kind of the French border, I suppose, on the north coast. And the Basque region also stretches a little bit into France as well, kind of on the um, the southwest of France as well, a little bit. So Bilbao can basically sign players that are born or, you know, have grown up, you know, in academies in any of these kind of areas. I suppose, you know, the cities, obviously, of course, Bilbao is quite a big city, San Sebastian down the road, of course, Pamplona and Victoria, and there's also a few places in France. Munyaim is probably one of Bilbao's best players at the moment, you know, he's had an absolutely brilliant season. Arez, of course, is the latest youngster to make the breakthrough. Of course, um, Inake Williams, there was a lot of talk about him five or six years ago. Of course, his parents are from Ghana. I think he was born in Ghana but they did move to Bilbao but obviously you know he did grow up there so obviously it was still enough to fit in with the policy. Uh, Aspilicueta as well of course he's another player that also came through Bilbao's academy did leave at quite a young age obviously for Osasuna and then of course went on to join Chelsea. Javi Martinez as well was of course at Bilbao I think until 2014 when he left for Bayern Munich he was a very important player around that era for them um, you know, so they have produced some very big players, and of course, this man as well, Emmerich Laporte, 
as well. There's actually a lot of rumours he could be coming back this summer. Of course, he's actually from the French part of the Basque country, and he also um, spent a lot of his career at Bilbao's academy, and of course in the Bilbao senior team before moving to Man City in January of 2018. So, you know, they do have a very good academy, a very good philosophy of signing players, and they do have a really passionate fan base, you know, and um, really kind of proud of the kind of Basque heritage, I suppose, you know, and there was even some talk that Bilbao were going to get rid of the Basque-only policy, but most of the fans and the people around the club just want to keep it the way it is. They love the kind of philosophy the way it is, you know, and it has gotten them so much success. Of course, Nico Williams as well, of course, is another player I forgot to mention, you know, obviously the brother of Inake, he's obviously a brilliant young player as well, and obviously, of course, they're managed by Ernesto Valverde, of course, the former Barcelona manager, so they do have a very good manager, you know, a very good philosophy, and look, not everyone agrees with this philosophy, you know, some people, you know, see it as a little bit disrespectful, I suppose, to players that aren't, you know, from the Basque region, but look, they've had it for their whole history, it's what works for them, you know, it's what's gotten them success in the past, you know, and it is, you know, an incredibly interesting story, so if they do play in the Conference League, of course, that all depends on us assume this situation, do let me know if there is any Bilbao fans watching, two different things, how well do you think you can do in the Conference League next season, do you think you can win it, and also, do you think that you guys could ever lift the Basque-only policy in the future, you know, like Real Saucy Dad has won in the past, actually, so do let me know that in the comments, make sure to like and subscribe, and thank you very much for watching, we'll see you in the next video.